Hello and welcome to Mini Resin Chef, where we are a community of adult collectors and creators of miniatures. I'm your host, Resin Bell, and today we're going to Italy. We'll be reviewing a taste of Italy in three different mini-verse recipes. So stay tuned for that, hit that like button and that subscribe button, and let's get cooking with resin. So our first recipe is the pesto fusilli, and we're going to add our little pastas. I absolutely adore all the packaging, just like everybody else. They do such an amazing job with all the designs. Let's open this up. And we'll pour our pasta in. Let's get a nice big dish of pasta. I like that. Let's add some of our olive oil. Pretty simple dish. I'm gonna cure that and we'll move on to the next one. All right, for our next dish, we're gonna make a Caesar salad. A pretty straightforward, simple salad. Get some of our salad mix in the bowl. Add some of our Caesar dressing. How cute is that? Now, I've never been a really big fan of dressing on salads. I prefer my salads to just be a uh, fresh, just raw vegetables. <laughs> I know I'm probably in the very small minority on that, but yeah, I still like the look at this. It's still adorable. I can appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> Let's mix that up. Oh, didn't that just look like dressing though? How cute is that? Some of our croutons. I think I meant to pour that many croutons, but we're gonna work with it. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Some of our Parmesan cheese, our grated cheese. Cuteness. Nice. And that one needs a fork. We 
go. I'm going to put that one into the oven. All right, moving on to our Spumani Sunday. This is a type of ice cream. It's not really ice cream, but uh, made in Italy. And so we're going to work on that today. We have the various colors and flavors of Spumani. We have our whipped cream with our adorable little cherries on top and our chocolate syrup. And I grabbed some extra cherries from the spring ham and we're going to throw some cherries in there because on the recipe it shows a little bit different product than what we got. It shows some uh, random cherries in there with these uh, um, whipped creams with cherries on top. It's supposed to have some random cherries in there and as you can see there are loose cherries in their photo so they changed it at some point and then didn't update their picture but we'll work with what we got we have a whole lot of cherries with the ham spring ball so we can go ahead and make it um, very cherry <laughs> so first we gotta put our ice creams in there just have to decide which one I think I want the cherry one on the bottom maybe I mean the chocolate on chocolate one on the bottom and then we'll put the cherry on the side and the mint oh, I think it's actually pistachio on the other side yeah that's gonna be lovely so need to add our chocolate syrup. I'm going to put a fine tip on that. Actually, I just realized I do have one already open from the Valentine ball, so I'll just go ahead and use that up before I open a new one. So let's just run this down real quick. All right, let's get some chocolate on. Some cherries. I knew that wasn't going to stay. <laughs> All right, let's add our whipped cream. Actually, let's do this. Let's move that here. Yummy. Doesn't that look yummy? All right, let's cure it. Okay, guys, so I absolutely love how these turned out. I didn't change them up too much this time because these are so cute in their simplicity. They're just adorable. Look at all of that detail. I love this one, especially with those little leaves and just, oh, come on, guys. Come on, how cute is that? So there's that one and then we have our Caesar salad look how cute with all the croutons I love putting it in this clear bowl so you can really see all of those leaves that kind of get mixed in I love the detail on those and you got your torn up ones there's so many different pieces in there that really make up the salad the different colors and the textures and it's just really great so Good job, mini bears. <laughs> and then the spumani with the cherries. I love this. I wish they had included the loose cherries like they had on their recipe card, but this is a good little tiny remix <laughs> using the cherries from the spring ham. And I love how that turned out. It's so cute. And 
the spoon comes out. <laughs> so too cute. I love all of those. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Um, hit that like button and that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.